updraft. And that updraft can travel at more than 100 miles an hour. This motion builds clouds that can extend to over 50,000 feet high, or nearly 20 times the height of the world's tallest building. Inside these clouds, water, ice, and vapor coexist with different electrical charges that ultimately separate. And when these charges try to equalize with other clouds or objects at the surface, we get lightning. And it's audible proof, thunder. A snowstorm is different from a spring storm because the temperature profile in the lower atmosphere makes it more difficult to create that updraft. But in some cases, a counterclockwise flow around a storm can sneak in a layer of warmer air, which can help create a light updraft. This flow of air can also be aided by strong upper-level winds. Now, because cloud tops and snowstorms are relatively low, most of them well below 20,000 feet, this updraft has less time to accelerate. On average, only about six U.S. snowstorms every year will create the instability in the clouds that produces lightning and thunder. Oh, yes! 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 We got it, baby! We got it! We got it! Woo! If you hear or see this rare event, it's typically paired with intense snow. In extreme cases, up to five inches every hour. And that means in just one hour, the amount of snow in a square mile beneath that thunder and lightning could be enough to fill Boston's Fenway Park twice. Oh, again, again, that's a twofer. That's a twofer, baby. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. So now I mean, you know, it is rare. <laughs> I know. Hey, stay tuned, 60 seconds till Mark and Vivian. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 62 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 68. Tonight, mainly clear skies. Near record low temperatures. Low 43. Here's our seven day outlook. Many of you starting your afternoon right now on Weather Center Live and winter weather, a nonstop problem creating messy and dangerous situations. And with the record amounts of snow across parts of the Northeast, we're also making sure you know about plummeting temperatures that we'll be talking about, of course, for years to come. Top that off with more ice and more snow on the way to areas already having a hard time coping from these relentless storms. Impacts, tracking, timing, expert-filled in-depth information right here, right now, only on Weather Center Live. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for Weather Center Live. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Mark Elliott. And Viv, as, as one storm ends, we mm -hmm. get to kind of shake off the flurries <laughs> and okay. uh, the amazing stories that form because of it. Yeah, but we still have a defi definitely a lot to pass along to you from accidents, of course, to rescues, to beautiful scenes. We have you covered. Yeah, so before we get to that, let's start with what's happening right now. And that is all about this uh, Arctic front, right? We've got this uh, cold air coming on in. We've got alerts 
setter up winter weather advisories because we have a little bit of snowfall along with that push of cold air. We're really going to notice this blast of chilly temps coming across the uh, the eastern two thirds of the country and maybe trying to ramp up off the coast. Winter storm watch in effect across much of Maine at this point. Viv, over to you. All right, well, let's talk more about this Arctic cold that we're dealing with. Of course, this seems as though we've been saying this for weeks and weeks and weeks now, but we really have because since the middle of January, it has just been on, okay? Arctic cold front and snow driving east. And yeah, we've been talking about most of this over the eastern half of the country because on the contrary, the west is mighty fine and warming up quite nicely. But here we go, another shot of very cold air, those broad northwest winds taking over, filtering all the way down across parts of Tennessee, northern Mississippi, Alabama, and in northern Georgia. Take a look at the wind chills now. This is the real deal. You know, in my opinion, there's no need in even uh, reporting the temperatures because this is what you really have to deal with when you step outside. It feels like 12 degrees in Indianapolis. It feels like only seven in Chicago and only two in Green Bay, but four below in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Again, when you factor in those winds. Now look at the forecast highs that we have as we go through the day today, not really getting above the teens here. So that cold air definitely just driving across parts of the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys. And it'll get some moisture kind of caught up in here too. So we'll spread some additional light snow across the Ohio Valley into much of New England as we head into tomorrow afternoon. As you can see by tomorrow evening, still dealing with snow here across northern New England. And before all said and done, this is how much additional snow we're expecting. Back to you, Mark. Well, Viv, that cold air, along with a little bit of precipitation, can certainly make some beautiful scenes. It can also make for some miserable conditions if you have to be out in it. So we're looking at some of the picturesque scenes, right? The flocking on the tree limbs, a little bit of ice, as long as it's not enough to bring down those limbs and bring down the power lines, because there's nothing worse than a really cold, record-setting outbreak than not having power to keep your house warm along the way. We do want to go in-depth on this cold air, though, because it is going to be dangerously cold, potentially. Uh, life-threatening cold air here, Mike, uh, yeah, as it I mean, moves in. Truly, and even when you think about how cold it's going to get in some of our southern states where temperatures are likely to fall down below zero tonight, we're just not used to it, and so you have a lot of issues. You know, your pets, your car doesn't uh, start like it used to, and you've got frozen pipes in your house because a lot of homes in the south just aren't insulated like they are across the north. So what's the setup here? What's causing everything? Well, a huge dip in the jet stream. It truly comes all the way down into Florida, and so even Florida gets in on some of this cold air. Our departures here are huge. Anywhere from 15 to 40 degrees below average. All you have to do are look for the whites, the purples, and the blues on this map, and that should tell you everything you need to know about the air setup right now. So take a look at the bitter cold high temperatures that we have today. Just 39 in Atlanta, 9 degrees for us in Chicago. Tomorrow, not any warmer, just 2 in Chicago. 17 degrees in St. Louis, about 30 degrees below average for us. Doesn't get much better on Friday. Staying cold in Boston, in D.C., all the way down to Jacksonville, where we don't even hit 50 degrees on Friday. But there could be some changes coming away by the weekend, and I think that's a good thing. But Boston, oh, it's been the big burr this month. If the month were ended today, it'd be the second coldest February on record. And a huge departure from last year. We were 10 degrees warmer on average during the month of February than we've been so far this year. Taking the forecast out through the end of the month, we stay below average for high temperatures each and every day. So we're actually projecting that Boston will finish as the second coldest February in the city's history behind the 17 and a half degrees we averaged back in 1934. What that means though, Mark, is if you're 81 years old, or younger, you have no recollection of just how cold that February was back in 1934. Yeah, and let me tell you, that Sunday that gets above freezing and may actually change over to rain will probably feel like a heat wave oh, compared yeah. to where we are for the rest of that stretch. Thanks, mm -hmm. Mike, for that update. Of course, parts of New England have been snowed in for weeks. Local businesses are starting to feel the economic pinch. And MSNBC's Adam Reese is in Boston with more on those impacts. And Adam, I'll tell you what, two more snowstorms expected for the region. Tell us more. Yeah. Apparently.
apparently it's so cold, it's so cold. that they can't even tell us about those economic That's impacts. That's how cold it is. Indeed. Okay. I mean, it, this is life-threatening cold moving mm -hmm. its way across the eastern two-thirds of the country. Between Thursday and Sunday, mm -hmm. potentially 100 new record low temperatures setting up across the eastern two-thirds of the country. And it's mm -hmm. all because of this Arctic front that's mo moving its way through the, through the area. And then along yeah. with that front, we get a little bit of moisture coming up from the Gulf and we have a, a mixed bag of precip once again. And some of that frozen precipitation will be over parts of the south, as you mentioned, moving through Arkansas, western Tennessee, central Tennessee. So this one will be kind of like winter storm Octavia, yeah. pretty much taking the same path. A very similar path here. Mm -hmm. We're looking at a freezing rain event potentially for Little Rock. Mm -hmm. Snow up towards the I-70 corridor. You look towards St. Louis, a close call, but Kansas City could see snow mm -hmm. across to Columbus and Pittsburgh snow. And then a big question mark here on the eastern side of the Appalachian chain mm -hmm. where you get that cold air stuck at the surface and the warm air going up above it ice once again. Okay, the question will be answered, of course, as we get closer to the second half of the weekend and certainly the beginning of next week. But you know, we have all of the answers. We're here hour by hour checking the computer models and there's no other place to get it than here for the very latest. It's true. And when we come back, we're going to go even more in depth on this extremely cold air because this is what you're all going to be talking about. You will notice this change. We'll show you how cold it gets next. You know, there's a more enjoyable way to get your fiber. Try Philips Fiber Good Gummies. They're delicious and a good source of fiber to help support regularity. Mm, these are good. The tasty side of fiber from Philips. How do you make cancer a thing of the past? Well, you use the past. Huntsman Cancer Institute has combined 300 years of family histories with health records to discover inherited genes for melanoma, breast, colon, and ovarian cancers so we can predict and treat cancer and sometimes even prevent it from happening in the first place. To learn more or support the cause, go to HuntsmanCancer.org. Are you a man over 40 and feeling tired, losing muscle, have less romantic drive? Then you need Ageless Mayo with an ingredient clinically shown to increase free testosterone levels. Ageless Mayo is now available at these fine retailers. You want some Rhino Fight? When I rescued Franklin about three years ago, he was severely malnourished and was losing a lot of hair. Dinovite can support every dog's good health with omega-3s, zinc, vitamins, and the digestive enzymes that may be missing from your dog's diet. Franklin stopped itching, and now his coat is soft and shiny. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. Dinovite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E.com. Bad weather. We're willing to take a lot of risk. He has no heartbeat, he's got no pulse. These people are counting on us. So let's go! I've never been so terrified. When you go out there, it's dangerous. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 62 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 68. Tonight, mainly clear skies, near record low temperatures, low 43. Here's our seven-day outlook. So we've got like 60 years of experience here. And that's just Sam. Jim Cantori, now on AMHQ. Weekday mornings at 7. Gorgeous greens at your service. This looks interesting. Special K hot cereal. Made with superfoods. Special K. I can definitely taste the quinoa. I can't believe that's less than 200 calories. A nourishing breakfast of multigrains and quinoa. Special K hot cereal. My feet felt so heavy at the end of the day. They used to get really tired. Until I started gelling. 
I got Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel insoles. When they're in my shoes, my feet and legs feel less tired. It's like walking on a wave. Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel insoles. I'm a believer. Hey, neighbor. Ace is having a 20% off store-wide thank you sale. So stop by Ace this Saturday only and get 20% off almost anything you can fit in a bag as our way of saying thanks for being our neighbor. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Andrew, Rita, Sandy, meet Chris, Jackie, Joe. Minor damage or major disaster, when you need us most, we're there. State Farm, we're a force of nature too. I don't know what I should do next. Do what everybody else does. Start a business. Build yourself a website. Welcome to T.O.'s Humble Pie. With Wix.com. Let's party! We make it easy to create your own all-pro website. All by yourself. Farve and carve. You did that yourself? Don't look so surprised. Wix.com. It's that easy. Well, get ready for another hit of wild weather in Little Rock. Now, you got hit by snow from winter storm Octavia, but Friday you could see ice that will gradually turn to rain, and by Saturday that rain could abruptly turn to thunderstorms. It's all the result of what could be our next named winter storm, which would be Pandora, by the way. So we're getting together and trying to meet up to see when we could name this system because we think it will be quite impactful as it moves across the eastern half of the country. Anyway, you slice it, another weekend winter storm we are expecting. That cold air is already in place, of course, from winter storm Octavia. So the cold air in place, and then as this next system gets organized, it'll pump in more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. This system will have a lot of moisture with it. So we're talking about a large area of rain, ice, snow, freezing rain spread across the Mississippi Valley, and then slowly pushing through the Ohio Valley eventually toward the mid-Atlantic as well. So this is what we're expecting. Again, going through the weekend, notice the main center of low pressure developing off the coast here of the northern mid-Atlantic region. But the trailing front will kind of flow back across the Gulf Coastal states and then that moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. Some of the moisture will be coming in from the western Atlantic too. And as it all meets up with the colder air, that's where we're talking about the snow, the ice, and even and freezing rain. Now where the air is definitely warm from the base of the clouds all the way to the ground, we're talking about generally rain from Texas through Louisiana, the south central parts of Mississippi. And keep in mind now, some of these rain showers could turn to thunderstorms across this region on Saturday. So definitely watching it. But again, definitely noticing the colder air with all of the widespread snow being indicated by the blue here and the pink. That's where we're talking about some freezing rain and even some sleet even around uh, New York City, so we'll be watching this on Sunday as well. Mark? And Viv, we are watching this cold air coming across the country. Hey, look, it's Skeletor. One way to cope with the biggest cold air outbreak we've seen in a while is to cover up your face with anything you got, including that mask. But hey, sturdy boots, parkas, whatever you got, you're going to need it. This cold is enough to freeze over the waterways. People trying to find inside ways to do that commute, uh, that's for sure. And we're talking about record-breaking cold, relentless cold, working its way across the country over the next several days. In fact, we are talking about upwards of 100 records over the next several days. 100 potential record lows, not out of the question. All of these dots, Thursday through Saturday, those are the potential lows that could fall. Our cold front goes all the way off the East Coast. It's going to be slicing across Florida and through the Gulf. So the eastern two-thirds of the country, that cold air is ready for business. Look at some of these morning low temperatures that we're going to be dealing with, right? We're talking about eight below in Chicago. Eight below in Chicago for your Thursday morning. That's a tough dog walk, that's for sure. Richmond, you'll be near 9. Charlotte, near 8 for Thursday morning. All the way down to I-10. Look at that. Pensacola, 25 degrees. And here's one of those records that's in jeopardy in Charlotte. Looks like we could tie the record of 8 set back in 1958. Now, Friday morning, just as impressive, if not more so. Look, all the way down to the Keys, we could have record low temperatures. It could be 12 below Friday morning in Pittsburgh. It could be 2 below 
in Wilmington, Delaware, five below in Richmond, and again, all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Very cold air, Viv. In fact, uh, the nation's capital, Key West, 51, but the nation's capital, look at that, we're forecasting one. That's it. Over to you. Definitely some cold air from the mid-Atlantic all the way to the south. Before we go to break, we want to show you this picture. Where is this? Can you guess? Well, believe it or not, this is Nashville, Tennessee. We've picked up an inch of snow already today. More on this coming up. So you think all auto glass companies are the same? Well, they're not. When your windshield needs to be replaced, nobody makes it as worry-free <sighs> as SafeLight. First, SafeLight emails a photo of the technician, so you know who to expect and how soon. Right on time. SafeLight's one-of-a-kind True Seal technology places a new glass in perfect position for a strong, reliable bond you can trust. <laughs> That looks great. You're all set. Thank you so much. Schedule now to get the Safe Light Advantage. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Burn. Did someone say burn? Try Alka Seltzer Relief Chews. They work just as fast and are proven to taste better than Tom's Smoothies Assorted Fruit. Mmm, amazing. Yeah, I get that a lot. Alka Seltzer Heartburn Relief Chews. Enjoy the relief. <sighs> 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that. Well, did you know Pinocchio was a bad motivational speaker? I look around this room and I see nothing but untapped potential. You have potential. You have... Oh, boy. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You don't know your I don't know score? my credit score. That's really important. I mean... I don't know my credit score. Don't you want to buy a house, like, ever? You should probably check out Credit Karma. It's free. Credit Karma. Free. Credit Karma. Really free credit scores. I'm Eric. And I'm Lindsay. And today is day number one of our hydroxy cut transformation. transformation. Cause we're going all the way. I lost 32 pounds. And I lost 44 pounds. HydroxyCut, it really works. HydroxyCut is America's number one selling weight loss supplement brand. Who's way Mix and match gummies, tablets, and drink mix. HydroxyCut got us off the couch and playing with the kids. Can't catch them all the time. Speak for yourself. Lose weight your way. The Weather Channel celebrates Black History Month as only we can. Telling the stories of African Americans who saw their world through weather, then changed the world for the better. This week we sit down with Dr. Ashton Robinson. Xfinity sales professionals are always on the go, meeting new people every day. They're helping families get the latest Xfinity products and services. And they're making customers happy. Jumpstart your career with the best sales training in the industry. Great benefits like discounts on your own Xfinity services and the potential for high earnings. Have what it takes? Apply today and see what doors open for you. a good time to start thinking about how you want things to be. Go long. So we've got like 60 years of experience here. And that's just Sam. Jim Cantori, now on AMHQ. Weekday mornings at 7. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 61 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 68. Tonight, mainly clear skies, near record low temperatures, low 43. Here's our seven-day outlook.
midway through your week and we're certainly not too far away to start thinking about the weekend, especially when there's a potential for so much messy weather across the country. Let's start things out with our huge amount of real estate that could be affected by our next winter storm on Saturday. Area of low pressure will be coming across the center of the country. This should be taking an inside track, eventually going towards the interior of New England. What that means is that a lot of us are going to be dealing with that changeover regime, right? Uh, you look at a place like Little Rock, it raining by Saturday, maybe even some thunderstorms, but when all this starts off Thursday night into Friday, there could be freezing rain there. So freezing rain and then eventually changing over to all rain by your weekend. You look at a place like St. Louis, you're right on the cusp. It's going to be a difficult forecast for you. Kansas City, looking likely that you'll be staying as all snow on Saturday. Columbus snowing, Pittsburgh snowing, and then a whole icy mess from North Georgia right on through Virginia to start off your weekend. Now again, on Sunday, this does go up towards the northeast corridor. Notice Boston topping out near 36 degrees. So you may start off as a little bit of snow, but then change over to rain. It is all rain across the south by the second half of your weekend. A lot of cities uh, in play here, right? You look at Little Rock, icy on Friday, then storms on Saturday, and a big jump to those temperatures, all the way to the low 60s, Vivian. So my goodness, a very big switch. Uh, and then we look at Memphis. We're looking at uh, a similar regime there. Big changes, right? Upper 20s Thursday, an icy mix Thursday night into Friday. And look what happens Saturday. The suddenly winds start cranking. We're looking at wind and rain in low 60s before the next Arctic front comes in. Viv, it's a topsy-turvy forecast. Topsy-turvy for sure. Thanks, Mark. Well, as you just saw, some people could hear storms rumble this weekend, and it's a sound that still strikes fear into the hearts of those living in Washington, Illinois. They're recovering from a devastating tornado that destroyed their community back in 2013. Families like the Byler Bands, Byler Dance that is, are excited about new homes surrounded by all those they love but almost lost. Here's Maria LaRosa with their story. For the Byler Dan family, time spent with their 12-year-old dog Maggie is a gift. Good girl, Pooch. Last November, two days after John and his four children crawled from the wreckage of their tornado-ravaged home, Maggie was found amongst the rubble that remained. Her body was bruised and her hip dislocated, but miraculously, she was alive. Finding her alive is just, you know, great joy and elation. An extreme sense of relief, you know, washed over me. It definitely changed my perspective on the whole situation. As her rescue became national news, donations flooded in, allowing this local vet to treat Maggie and more than 20 tornado injured pets completely free of charge. They took such phenomenal care of her. When she came home, we laughed and said she looks probably three or four years younger than she did before the storm because they made her lose some weight. In the days after Maggie was found, the first response team of America arrived on site and were able to help save John's other prized possessions. When the tornado came, it took the first and second floor right off this house. Uh, and as we started digging through the debris, we found a lot of very special old instruments. It was just basically a race against time to salvage anything we could before the rain came. Music is medicine. It's a healing art. And it's what I do to not only exercise my mind, but my soul. It definitely has helped me cope. In November, music also helped save John's family as a tornado tore their home apart. This is where they were when the tornado hit. I mean, they were literally under the car in this basement covered in debris. When the car fell down, instead of falling on John and his kids, it actually fell on the pianos. And the instruments literally held the car up in the air and kept them from being crushed. John's basement is once again his rehearsal space, but the home is new. The Byler Dans moved here in January and were reunited with Maggie after two months apart. She is our protector. She's our companion. She is part of our family. Our family would not be complete without her. Responding by storm, powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Every truck can tow a boat. Every truck can climb a hill. Every truck can haul a trailer. But not everyone can say they're the fastest growing truck brand in America. Guts, glory, ram. Doers. They don't worry if something's possible. They just do it. 
At Sears Optical, we're committed to bringing them eyewear that works as hard as they do. Right now, buy one pair and get another free. Quality eyewear. For doers. Sears Optical. I have the worst cold with this runny nose. I better take something. Dayquil cold and flu doesn't treat your runny nose. Seriously? Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough bites your worst cold symptoms plus your runny nose. Oh, what a relief it is. Attention, hip replacement recipients. If you had metal-on-metal metal hip replacement and suffered serious injuries or revision surgery, you may be entitled to a cash award. Depew ASR and Strike Rejuvenate and other hip replacement devices have been under FDA review. The FDA is aware of failures and dangers of all metal hip replacements and has raised concerns about high metal concentration in patients. Common injuries include early failure of the device, metal blood poisoning, bone fracture, dislocation, Location, tissue damage from metal debris, and hip pain. If you had a Depew ASR, strike or rejuvenate, or other metal-on-metal metal hip replacement implant and suffered serious injury or revision surgery, you may be entitled to a cash award. Time is limited. Call the number on your screen. If you suffered serious injuries or revision surgery from your metal-on-metal metal hip replacement implant, Call 1-855-262-8439 now. That's 1-855-262-8439. Time is moving at the speed of light. The engine's cold, but the fire's bright. Smiles and miles go tonight. Hold on tight. out of junk in their garage we just gave them their own tv show oh! come on wind i think i just made mother nature my bitch <laughs> one man's trash this is perfect there's another man's wood powered jeep gasifier <laughs> brainstormers premiering sunday march 22nd only on the weather channel a wind chill advisory is in effect Currently in our area, 61 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 69. Winds northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies near record low temperatures, low 43. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 60. Winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. So we've got like 60 years of experience here. And that's just Sam. Jim Cantori, now on AMHQ, weekday mornings at 7. Then I was a little scared. You know, I was thinking about my mother and you know, all, you know, all that stuff. And then, and then, you know, Ty kept me in line, you know, told me, you know, we just got to make a fire, we're going to get through this, you know, just got to push through it. I didn't really mind because I knew where I was, I knew the area, I wasn't lost at all. Mm. You know, I knew exactly where I was. Two teenagers safe and okay after being stranded in the woods overnight. Thing is, there were 25 below zero wind chills at the time. Their snowmobile got stuck near Andover, Maine, so they started walking. But as night came, temperatures in the area dipped to about nine below zero. They were able to start a fire and bundle up, and that's why everything worked out so well. In the morning, a passerby spotted them walking, and thankfully the two did not have any signs of hypothermia. 
What a survival uh, task say. there. My goodness. goodness. Hello, and thanks for joining us for Weather Center Live. I'm Mark Elliott. And I'm Vivian Brown. Now, Mark, just an incredible story of survival there. Yeah. And I tell you, and with all the record snow and ice, we are seeing more and more situations like this, unfortunately. Yeah, coming up in just a few minutes, we have another dramatic rescue to share with you. But first, check this out. Digging out from piles of snow. Drivers not even able to get to their vehicles at times. In this case, don't you wish it would just take this amount of time and go this quickly to clear off the whole car. But no, it's the task that uh, a lot of you are dealing with, Viv, uh, shoveling out the cars from really the plains all the way to the New England states. I know, don't you wish we could fast forward like that? That's incredible. But you talk about so much snow, and unfortunately, we have to tell you that more is on the way. We have an Arctic cold front and snow. It's all driving east, so that means the brutally cold air coming with it. In fact, you can see right now where the front is. It has pushed across northern Georgia, Atlanta. We're watching you. There's the area of low pressure that's associated with it. But again, behind this low pressure, behind the cold front is where we have the bitterly cold stuff. Check out the current wind chills. It feels like it's in the single digits for you, Chicago. So I hope you don't get out and about if you don't have to, because this is brutal. I mean, you can get frostbite in a matter of minutes being out Side and this type of brutal coldness. 12 degrees, that's what it feels like in Indianapolis, but look at Minneapolis, four below is the current wind chill. So there is the front, also now caught up in this cold air, is some moisture, so all of the moisture is falling in the form of snow with it being so cold. You can see from eastern Tennessee and the eastern parts of Kentucky right through West Virginia, even the western parts of Pennsylvania, and for that reason, we do have winter weather advisories. They actually extend all the way into northern Georgia and to northern Alabama for later on. And as we look at parts of New England, we have a winter storm watch in effect for the entire state of Maine because as this system continues to push off to the east and the north, it will be Maine by this time tomorrow that we're talking about some additional heavy snow over the area. Again, all across much of northern New England, we could be dealing with a very heavy snow. And not only are some of you dealing with record amounts of snow. We're also talking about temperatures that are helping rewrite, okay, the record books. Brutal, dangerous, even potentially deadly. Mark is helping us understand this deep freeze. Yeah, that's right, Viv. This is the kind of cold air that could stop you right in your tracks. And, and tracks might be the key word here. We're talking about a Siberian Express working its way throughout the eastern two-thirds of the nation. And we call this a Siberian Express because the uh, really the root of this air is all the way from Siberia. Let me show you how uh, this works out and how we know that all this cold air is going to set up shop in the eastern two-thirds of the country and where it came from. And really, it starts here. Look at Nashville. Record low temperatures potentially here, but that air didn't start in the Nashville area. Instead, it has its origins up here in the uh, Siberian tundra, and then it's got this unbroken fetch of cold, uh, snow-packed land to travel over as it makes its way down towards the south and east. So the wind's kind of bringing that air mass down and it doesn't moderate much because the, the ground is cold and the air is cold for where it's traveling to. And so this is what it bottoms out to, right? We're gonna have potentially 100 record low temperatures from Thursday through Saturday over the eastern two thirds of the country. Every one of those black dots is a record that is in jeopardy over the next several days. Uh, this is one of those cold air outbreaks that we're gonna be talking about for years to come, Mike, uh, rivaling the the 1890s know, right? with regards to cold air, which is what we really judge all cold air outbreaks to. I think for a lot of us, we remember the winter of 1978-79, sure. and, and that's the most recent really cold. Spell you mean we you don't remember, remember the 1899 but, uh, one, Mike? But, 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 right. <laughs> 1875 yeah. is some of the coldest air that you've got to go back to to beat what we've got right now. Yeah. So your mind is not deceiving you. It is downright cold out there. Everything is revolved around 
around what the air masses are doing out there. The air masses are bringing in some really, really cold air for us. I take a look at the jet stream. I want to show you here is the water vapor imagery because it's easy for us to point out the jet stream here. Is it really, truly ridges well up here in the west and then digs in the east. And so it's all that cold air that really filters its way down, as Mark was alluding to, down from Siberia. So we're not getting much of a break, I can tell you that. You take a look at how far south that goes. Even Florida is included. And again, there's the dip in the jet stream right there. And that cold air goes all the way down truly into Orlando and down into Tampa as well. So there's no escaping it in the eastern half of the country. There's the resultant temperatures, okay? Two degrees for us in Chicago tomorrow. That's it for a high. 17 in St. Louis, 29 in Atlanta, mid 40s in Jacksonville, Florida. Ouch. 20 in Chicago on Friday, staying cool, truly right down through the eastern corridor of the U.S. 39 in Atlanta. You've had some snow flurries in the area today. Stays even cold through the remainder of the week. 20 in Chicago on Saturday, 28 in St. Louis, cold still in Florida. You get the point here. By Saturday, there are some hints of some warmer air. Notice now we're back into the 50s in Atlanta, upper 60s in Jacksonville, and above freezing for us in St. Louis. And maybe even better yet, because I point to this temperature right here, 36 in Boston. We're above freezing. Hallelujah. Angels are singing. Harps are playing. Here's what's going on for you in Detroit, though, by the way. If the month ended today, it'd be the eighth coldest February on record. We're averaging 16.8 degrees for the month of February right now. However, here's the projection through the rest of the month. Highest temperature is 35 for a high. So having said that, we are forecasting Detroit to make it its second coldest February on record, as we we're alluding to, Mark. 1875. <laughs> How far you back you got to go to find our colder February. Vivian, it doesn't get much colder than that. It's second coldest in city history. No, it doesn't. And I had to look up and see when was the thermometer even invented. That was in the 1700s. But I'll tell you what, some big time cold. Well, a story with a happy ending this afternoon. A 14 year old girl pulled from the ice covered Sandy Hook Bay in New Jersey as cameras rolled. Here's Al Roker with the story. It was all playing out on camera. A 14-year-old girl falling through the ice in Sandy Hook Bay. You can see her hanging on to the two men in orange coats. Rescuers able to walk her through the waist-high water to stable ground where they pulled her up and onto a stretcher. She managed to get herself up onto an ice floe. She'd fallen through, got herself back up onto the ice. That's where she was when we made contact with her. Rescuers say she and a friend were apparently walking on the ice-covered drainage pipes that jut out into the bay when one of the girls fell through. Her friend and another adult called for help, but then all three became stranded. After the girl in the water was pulled out, rescuers walked the other two people back to safety across the ice uninjured. Witnesses watching the whole event. They were definitely scared. Glad we could help, and I'm happy that the young lady is. I, I imagine we'll be okay. She was very cold, very wet, and a little hypothermic, but I'm sure she's going to be fine. She was taken to Riverview Medical Center for treatment. Locals say the Sandy Hook Bay usually doesn't freeze all the way over because it's salt water. But this has been an exceptional winter. It's definitely tempting for kids to do it. I wouldn't do it. I mean, you could see that it's not really, you know, safe enough to walk on. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 62 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 69. Winds northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, near record low temperatures, low 43. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 60. Winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. cold with this runny nose. I better take something. Dayquil cold and flu doesn't treat your runny nose. Seriously? Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough bites your worst cold symptoms plus your runny nose. Oh, what a relief it is. Brought to you by Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough. At Intel, they have technology that lets your face be your password. Oh! 
That is one secure password. Mm. Intel. This is where it all changes. Hey, neighbor. Ace is having a 20% off store-wide thank you sale. So stop by Ace this Saturday only and get 20% off almost anything you can fit in a bag as our way of saying thanks for being our neighbor. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Oh, man. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, oh, Harry. Man. You got to do it like this. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, George. Hey, Jim. State Farm agents are there whenever you need them. Progresso. I can't believe I'm eating bacon and rich creamy cheese before my sister's wedding. Well, it's only 100 calories, so you'll be ready for that dress. Uh-huh. You don't love the dress? I love my sister. 40 flavors, 100 calories or less. How do you make cancer a thing of the past? Well, you use the past. Huntsman Cancer Institute has combined 300 years of family histories with health records to discover inherited genes for melanoma, breast, colon, and ovarian cancers so we can predict and treat cancer and sometimes even prevent it from happening in the first place. To learn more or support the cause, go to HuntsmanCancer.org. Do you have a life insurance policy you no longer need or can't afford? Now you can sell your policy for an immediate payment. We bought life insurance when our kids were young to protect their future. Our young has just turned 40, and we no longer needed the coverage. That got us to thinking about letting our policy go. So I did some research and called Coventry Direct. I learned that you could sell all or part of a life insurance policy, even a term life policy. Turns out, people have been selling policies like ours for the past 15 years. Who knew? We sold our policy. Now we have money to help with the medical bills. And to add to our retirement. If you have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may be a candidate to sell your policy. Call 1-800-478-2700 or visit CoventryDirect.com for a free information packet. 1-800-478-2700. Coventry Direct. Redefining insurance. With psoriatic arthritis, I had intense joint pain that got worse and worse. Then my rheumatologist prescribed Embril. I'm Phil Mickelson, pro golfer. Embril helps relieve pain and stop joint damage. I've been on the course and on the road. Embril may lower your ability to fight infections. Serious, sometimes fatal events, including infections, tuberculosis, lymphoma, other cancers, nervous system and blood disorders, and allergic reactions have occurred. Before starting Embril, your doctor should test you for tuberculosis and discuss whether you've been to a region where certain fungal infections are common. You should not start Embril if you have an infection like the flu. Tell your doctor if you're prone to infections, have cuts or sores, have had hepatitis B, have been treated for heart failure, or if you have symptoms such as persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness. Embril help relieve my joint pain, but the best part of every journey yeah! is coming home. Ask if Embril, the number one biologic medicine prescribed by rheumatologists, can help you stop joint damage. Well, it caused our storm tracker Jim Cantore to jump around like he won the lottery, live on the air. So what in the world could make a grown man act like that? All right, well, in this edition of Rainstorm, prepare yourself to be struck by thunder snow. Sam Champion enlightens us about this weather wow. Thunderstorms begin when a large temperature differential between air near the surface and air aloft creates an updraft. And that updraft can travel at more than 100 miles an hour. This motion builds clouds that can extend to over 50,000 feet high, or nearly 20 times the height of the world's tallest building. Inside these clouds, water, ice, and vapor coexist with different electrical charges that ultimately separate. And when these charges try to equalize with other clouds or objects at the surface, we get lightning. And it's audible proof, thunder. A snowstorm is different from a spring storm because the temperature profile in the lower atmosphere makes it more difficult to create that updraft. But in some cases, a counterclockwise flow around a storm can sneak in a layer of warmer air, which can help create a light updraft. This flow of air can also be aided by strong upper-level winds. Now, because cloud tops and snowstorms are relatively low, 
most of them well below 20,000 feet, this updraft has less time to accelerate. On average, only about six U.S. snowstorms every year will create the instability in the clouds that produces lightning and thunder. Oh, yes! 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 We got it, baby! We got it! We got it! Woo! If you hear or see this rare event, it's typically paired with intense snow. In extreme cases, up to five inches every hour. And that means in just one hour, the amount of snow in a square mile beneath that thunder and lightning could be enough to fill Boston's Fenway Park twice. Oh, again, again, that's a twofer. That's a twofer, baby. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You've been brainstormed. Sam Champion, the Weather Channel. And our own can man was definitely acting like a madman out there with all of that snow and the thunder snow. Well, you won't have to worry about thunder snow in Vegas. Look at the beautiful blue sky we have. Temperatures right now in the middle 50s, and we're well on our way to almost 70 degrees today. Very nice across the West. Will this continue? Well, let's check on the seven day forecast with Mark. And Viv, the country is basically split in two. It is cold and a bit unsettled with flurries as far south as Atlanta today, while the West is cooking. 82 in Phoenix, 72 in Los Angeles, and very quiet conditions. Of course, the big news over the next couple of days will be this Arctic cold front working its way throughout the eastern two-thirds of the country and eventually spurring on potentially our next named storm. Uh, look at tomorrow, a high near two in Chicago. Uh, we could see a low temperature looking in towards a Friday morning in D.C. of one. It's going to be cold, and with that cold air in place, Look what happens. We get a little bit of moisture returning off the Gulf of Mexico, and it sets up shop here across the plains. In a very similar area from where we just had Octavia move through, we're looking at ice across Arkansas, a mixed bag of precip in the Tennessee Valley, and snow as you head towards the Ohio Valley. This only spreads out as we go through Saturday. A lot of real estate will be impacted by our next winter storm. Heavy rain and storms down here towards the Gulf, but look at all this snow and ice for the uh, I-70 corridor as well as for the Appalachian chain. Some of the models hinting that we get a little bit of a return on Sunday. So not only are we watching one low moving away, but another one forming on that same front, which then also comes across the country, uh, uh, taking a southern track. So yes, another corridor of snow and ice Monday into Tuesday. Look how far south we got those blues and pinks on the map, Viv. So a lot of people dealing with this wintry weather. Over to you. Oh, you got to make it stop, Mark. How can we? You know, we've been talking about these record-breaking temperatures and record-breaking cold. So how does Boston stack up today after yesterday adding more snow on top of the mounds that they already had? And check it out, we're tied for number two in the Boston area, 96.3 inches on our way to perhaps number one, 107.6, only need about 11 inches. You know, there's a more enjoyable way to get your fiber. Try Philips Fiber Good Gummies. They're delicious and a good source of fiber to help support regularity. Mm, these are good. The tasty side of fiber from Philips. Once upon a time, there was a nice house that lived with a family. One day, it started to rain. The house tried to keep out all the water, but water got inside and ruined everybody's everything. The house thought she let the family down. They just didn't think it could happen. They told the house they would take better care of her. Hmm. Always. Protect what matters. Get flood insurance. <laughs> Mother Nature can absolutely change people. I'm ready to get out of here and create a new track. This is a tornado emergency. Oh it was hard to believe weather could do that. Never seen anything like this in my life. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 62 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
today, partly cloudy, high 69, winds northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, near record low temperatures, low 43. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 60, winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Did you know? Fresh Step Extreme Lightweight Litter isn't just light, it's also the best lightweight for eliminating odors. Amazing, right? For superior odor elimination, try Fresh Step Extreme. Lightweight. Lowe's presents how to install a new washing machine with one finger. Maybe a little more that way. Nice. Now get 10% off major appliances, $3.99 and more at Lowe's. I have the worst cold with this runny nose. I better take something. Dayquil cold and flu doesn't treat your runny nose. Seriously? Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough bites your worst cold symptoms plus your runny nose. Well, what a relief it is. Can a protein originally found in a jellyfish improve your memory? Our scientists say yes. Researchers have discovered a protein that actually supports healthier brain function. It's the breakthrough in a supplement called Prevagen. As we age, we lose proteins that support our brain. Prevagen supplements these proteins and has been clinically shown to improve memory. It's safe and effective. For support of healthier brain function, a sharper mind, and clearer thinking, try Prevagen for yourself today. When it comes to your credit, in the know is the place to be. TransUnion.com makes it easy. We give you 24-7 access. You get instant credit alerts to keep you in sync. You can even lock and unlock your TransUnion credit report from your phone. And all that information feels pretty good. Come to TransUnion.com and get in the know. Away. Okay. Is the smell of salt in the air? It's the sound a seashell makes. Away is a place that's beyond your imagination. Yet, well. At the watershed, we believe in recovery. We believe that every alcoholic and addict deserves the opportunity to be healed. Our team of addiction professionals will address the underlying causes of your addiction while treating you with dignity and respect. We've helped thousands of patients recover from this seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. Addicts can recover. Addicts do recover. No matter how hopeless the situation seems, the time to get help is now. Call the watershed today. At school, they talked about the digital divide, the gap between people who can access the internet and those who can't, the haves and the have-nots. Well, today, my family becomes one of the haves. Internet Essentials from Comcast offers low-cost computers and internet to lower-income families. It's part of our commitment to making sure that no one gets left behind in the communities we serve. Now that we're online, anything is possible. Comcast, connecting our communities. Start your benefits. Call 888-997-1426 now. So we've got like 60 years of experience here. And that's just Sam. Jim Cantori, now on AMHQ. Weekday mornings at 7. We've got some breaking news right now. Another roof collapse that we're looking into here. This is in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Looking at live aerials from our affiliate WHGH. We are seeing this live as you are. So we don't have a lot of information at the moment, but we're going to continue to follow this story. And you can see right on through that building, the uh, support structure of the roof as half of it is collapsed and down on towards the ground floor. Uh, rescue services are on the scene. You can see there's a fire truck there 
along with ladders. They're surveying the area. Uh, the helicopter there trying to figure out as well. Uh, there's a wider view. You can see the type of structure that we're talking about here with the amount of snow that we've been dealing with across the area. Upwards of 90 to 100 inches of snow in just about three weeks time has been too much weight for a lot of these roofs. Now, with that potential of another cold air outbreak on the way and more snow or potentially rain adding to these roofs and the weight on that, uh, we could have more of these on the way. So let's get the details now from the lab. We've got Vivian there with Mike Bettis. I know, Mark. This is just going to be too much to bear for the most part. I am in the lab with storm specialist Mike Bettis. So tell us more about what's to come, Mike. It's complicated. It's a complicated mm -hmm. forecast short term and then I would call it long term more toward the weekend because okay. there's not only snow, there is some rain in the forecast. And so the weight mm -hmm. of everything is going to be a huge issue for us, especially where we've had, you know, feet of snow. Mm -hmm. But take a look at where the cold air is already set up for us and how it kind of stays in place for us and where it goes from here and how it all plays out yeah. uh, with the moisture. OK, so we've obviously tracked this cold air all the way back up into the North Pole and it's mm -hmm. sliding its way southbound around Arctic high pressure, which really means cold air is filtering southbound mm -hmm. even down to Florida. We've had. However, that high pressure eventually does move out. I mean, we're going to see the last vestiges of it, I think, mm -hmm. likely being end of the week, early weekend. Even the Appalachians could get pretty cold. But notice that that low starts to track its way and replace that high, which means now a subtly component to the air Absolutely. for a change, mm -hmm. for a change. And mm -hmm. so now the question is, can we get the moisture and the cold air to pair up? And where do they pair up? Mm -hmm. And what does it mean for millions of people? Mm -hmm. So it's, there's a lot of details to be worked out here. But if you take a look at this simple map here, what mm -hmm. this is, is cold air overlaid with what we call P-watt or precipitable moisture. How much uh, precip could we squeeze out of the clouds here? Where the two of those kind of line up together, that's where you're going to end up likely getting mostly a snow or some sort of wintry mix. So if you stay kind of south of that line and more in here, it's going to be all rain. But notice, even up into New England by Sunday, it could end up being all rain. Yeah, and that is pretty much key because that's going to add more weight, of course, on the heavy snow that's already there. And then you put water on top of it yeah. and it'll melt some of the snow. And it's just going to be a big it's, mess. It's a blessing and it's a curse at the Absolutely. same time. You Absolutely. know what I mean? And so mm -hmm. it's it's one of those things where, yeah, it might be great to get some of that melt, but yeah. there's a huge concern of how much more weight that's going to add to some of the roofs here. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the forecast, though, as we begin Friday, and it does include quite a nasty mix for us here, especially across uh, the Mid-South. Little Rock, up toward the boot heel of Missouri, St. Louis, over toward Memphis and Nashville. We've got some real issues going on here. The mm -hmm. farther north you go, the more likely you are to get snow, and I think the I-70 corridor is really a big target for some snow. Yeah. But, Megan, we were talking about this, uh, Viv. Mm -hmm. Notice how that cold air really starts to pull north here, mm -hmm. so that means eventually Memphis and Nashville, we're going over to rain on Saturday, yeah. and we're saying goodbye, we think now, uh, to the wintry precip, and 50s and 60s are back in the forecast. Mm -hmm. And notice here in the northeast, too, a lot of the snow is outside of Boston, at least the heaviest of snow. We right. may be in that mix or all rain. So it's going to be a real close call for us in a place like Boston. Yeah. But look at Memphis. I love the turnaround here. <laughs> 28 degrees tomorrow, mm -hmm. 61 on Saturday. You know, yeah, that's I mean, who, crazy. Does, who doesn't love that? That's more <laughs> Memphis style right, right there, right? Charlotte, similar for us. I mean, we'll be five degrees when you wake up tomorrow and then 21 in the afternoon. Yeah. That's it. And what's even more of an um, uh, oxymoron is that you have mostly sunny conditions, but right. a temperature of only 21. It's, then you have snow on Saturday. How it looks and feels are totally yeah, different, absolutely. right? Uh, but I love Sunday. Yes, we'll bring in some rain, but mm -hmm. 55 degrees. I think we'll take oh, the yeah. rain with that 55 degrees in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Thanks very much, Mike. Keeping everybody updated. Back to you, Mark. Thanks, guys. And of course, there's still much more to come here on Weather Center Live as we track this brutal, dangerous, and potentially deadly outbreak of cold temperatures. And with more snow and ice on the way from the Tennessee Valley to the Northeast, you know that you got to stay on top of on top of it all. So we are bringing you expert-filled, in-depth coverage, and it continues in just 60 seconds. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 62 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 69. Winds northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, near record low temperatures, low 43. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 60. Winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook.
pushing your way through the afternoon hours now across the middle of your work week here on Weather Center Live, and we're still watching winter weather. It's a nonstop problem, a messy and dangerous situations on the way. And with record amounts of snow across parts of the Northeast, we're also making sure that you know about the plummeting temperatures that will be talked about for years to come. And top that off with more ice and more snow on the way to areas already having a hard time coping from these relentless storms. We'll bring you the impacts, the tracking, the timing, expert filled in depth information right here, right now, only on Weather Center Live. And thank you so much for joining us for Weather Center Live. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Mark Elliott. And Viv, uh, one storm is ending, and mm -hmm. we're shaking off the flurries from that shake one, it off, right? Shake it off. But we're also following some amazing stories that form because of it. So we're going to bring those to you as we go through the hour. Yeah, we definitely have a lot to pass along to you today, from accidents to rescues, beautiful scenes, too. We have you covered. Yeah, but before we get to that, let's start with what's happening right now. And this is this Arctic front, along with a little bit of precipitation with it, moving through the uh, really the eastern two thirds of the country. What we have here are the alerts and the advisories and the warnings issued by the National Weather Service offices. Winter weather advisories in the lighter shade of blue. That bright blue color are actually winter storm watches. Much of Maine uh, underneath the winter storm watch now because there's a potential for kind of a burst of snow as the low intensifies off the coast. Viv, let's talk about this front coming through and the snow along with it. Yeah, let's give you all the details because this will be just another insult to injury, of course, across the Northeast, in particular Boston. We're at number two right now. We've tied for second place of being the snowiest winter ever in the Boston area. And before this winter season is over, I would not be too surprised. In fact, I believe we may reach the number one spot here in the Boston area. But nonetheless, the Arctic chill is back in play across parts of the Midwest, the Great Lakes area, even over parts of the Deep South. As you can see, that front has pushed through northern Georgia, northern Alabama, and Mississippi again. Look at these wind chills. Now, this is absolutely the real deal. What it feels like when you step outside. Can you believe even down to Louisville, Kentucky, 17, St. Louis, it is a cold hump day here in the Lou. As you can see, only 15 degrees when you factor in the winds. That's what it feels like, a wind chill of seven in Chicago, but four below in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And caught up in this cold air, we have some moisture, so you know what it's falling as, right? As snow, you can see all of the snow pushing across parts of Ohio, including the Cincinnati area, and we'll follow the area of snow right through toward Philadelphia. Even Boston could pick up a couple of inches with this last little batch and we'll be looking all across the state of Maine and before all is said and done maybe up to eight inches are possible here so we'll keep you updated. Back to you Mark. Well, Viv, the cold and then combine that with a little bit of precipitation, you can have some amazingly beautiful scenes. I mean, look at some of these images that came in from North Georgia of the trees kind of flocked with that freezing rain accumulation. It, it, it looks like a scene from Frozen there. Here's the thing. You get stuck in that cold air. It turns into a, anything less than pic picturesque, I suppose. It could be deadly cold coming our way. We want to get the details on this cold air. Let's head back towards the lab now. Mike, uh, watching this this cold air uh, rivaling some of the historic cold air outbreaks of the 1970s and even the 1890s. Yeah, I think for a lot of us, we remember some of this, some of the cold air from uh, the winter of 78, 79. For some of us, we haven't been this cold, as you mentioned, Mark, since, get this, 1875. It's just crazy to think it's been two centuries to see this kind of weather. But the cold air is really setting us up because the jet stream is really dipping south. We're getting this cold push of air that's come over the Arctic Circle. And what it means is cold air that goes all the way down following that jet stream into Florida even. Take a look at some of these uh, temperatures that will have 15 to 40 degrees below average from Minneapolis all the way to Atlanta and then even farther south from that. Look at the temperatures for us today. For a lot of us, the temperatures 25 or so degrees below average, 11 today in Chicago. Forecast tomorrow, two in Chicago. Just 29 degrees in Atlanta, half of what you should be. Then the forecast highs on Friday, still chilly even into the Northeast where highs will only be around 20 degrees in Boston and in Washington, D.C. We're talking 20 to 30 degrees below average. For Boston, by the way, love these stats, and I know it's been kind of a stat month for you in Boston. If the month were ended today, it'd be the second cold February on record. 
and it's a huge departure from last year. We are 10 degrees colder this February than last February, so the numbers don't lie. It indeed has been cold, and so we're going to extrapolate the next 10 days. Let's take this through the end of the month. There's not a single day. 37 is as high as we get, but there's not a single day where we actually hit our average high, which is 39. So look at this forecast. Averaging in the low temperatures, we are projecting that February in Boston will be the second coldest February on on record and you have to go back 81 years to find a colder February than what we've had this February. And on top of that, guys, it's been a monumental snow month. So Boston, this one is for the record books for sure. Monumental indeed. Thanks very much. Mike Bettis from the land. And of course, in Boston, getting around has been rough. Only one lane to get by on some streets. Snow piles that are taller than cars and the people on either side. So you can't see anything when you're driving. I know. And but clearing streets uh, and snow isn't the only challenge facing commuters. The waterways may use uh, that, that, that many use to get to work are freezing due to the brutal cold. Here's Chris Warren with more. In the Boston area, commuting is a challenge on the rail, on the road, and on the water. We are just outside of Boston right now. Boston, the downtown skyline, it's off in the distance. But what you'll notice between where we are and Boston, there is a lot of ice. And a lot of com people commute from the surrounding areas into Boston on a ferry or on a taxi. About 4,000 people make that commute into Boston for work. And a lot of those vessels, a lot of those boats are either made out of fiberglass or aluminum. So it is dangerous for those boats to go through this. That's why the boat that we're on right here, this is essentially a supply ship, but it's acting as an icebreaker, is plowing the way ahead of the ferries and the taxis to make sure there is a clear way for them to get through. This boat is made out of steel. So it is the best option for clearing a path for the ferry boats and the taxis to get into Boston. And we know with all of the cold air that we've been experiencing and are expecting, this is going to remain a concern. So crews will be out here trying to do what they can to make sure the people that need to get to work on the water and by the water will be able to do so. I'm meteorologist Chris Warren on the water just outside of Boston. Back to you. something for pain? I have Bayer Aspirin. I'm not having a heart attack. It's, uh, it's my back. I mean Bayer Back and Body. It works great for pain. Bayer Back and Body provides effective relief for your tough pain. Better? Yeah. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Guess what goes really well with eggs? <laughs> Pillsbury Grand's Biscuits make breakfast even better. <laughs> Grand's Biscuits make breakfast pop. Now, can I at least put my shoes on? If your bladder is calling the shots, you may have a medical condition called overactive bladder, or OAB. You've got to be kidding me. I've had enough. It's time to talk to the doctor. Ask your doctor how Mirbetric may help treat OAB symptoms of urgency, frequency, and leakage, which may mean fewer trips to the bathroom. Mirbetric Mirbagron may increase your blood pressure. Mirbetric may increase your chances of not being able to empty your bladder. Tell your doctor right away if you have trouble emptying your bladder or have a weak urine stream. Mirbetric may affect or be affected by other medications, so tell your doctor about all the medicines you take. Before taking Mirbetric, tell your doctor if you have liver or kidney problems. Common side effects include increased blood pressure, common cold symptoms, urinary tract infection, and headache. Take charge by talking to your doctor about your OAB symptoms and Mirbetric. Find out if you can get your first prescription at no cost by visiting Mirbetric.com. We build weather inventions. Wow, wow. anybody else outside. surprised that she works? <laughs> <laughs> It was hard to believe weather could do that. Mother Nature can absolutely change people. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 62 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
today, partly cloudy, high 69, winds northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, near record low temperatures, low 43. Thursday, mainly sunny, high 60, winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. So we've got like 60 years of experience here. And that's just Sam. Jim Cantori, now on AMHQ. Weekday mornings at 7. All cars are racing against time. Some are just doing better than others. Save 25% on durable Firestone Destination LE2 tires for your SUV at Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Looks like 20 feet. At Intel, they have this technology. You can take a picture and measure the distance before you jump. Intel, this is where it all changes. Jack's heart attack didn't come with a warning. Today's doctor has him on a bare aspirin regimen to help reduce the risk of another one. If you've had a heart attack, be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Hey, neighbor. Ace is having a 20% off store-wide thank you sale. So stop by Ace this Saturday only and get 20% off almost anything you can fit in a bag as our way of saying thanks for being our neighbor. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. At Sometimes at last doesn't happen at first. Your dad just kissed my mom. Turning two worlds into one takes love. Helping protect that world takes State Farm. Testosterone therapy, low T therapy, has been linked to heart attack, stroke, blood clot, or death. If you have used testosterone therapy gels, sprays, patches, or pellet implants and were injured, you may be entitled to a cash award. If you're a male, use prescription testosterone therapy and have suffered a heart attack, stroke, blood clot, or death, call now. You may be entitled to a cash award. Call 1-877-668-5816 now. That's 1-877-668-5816. More of what you don't need. Check it out. We're looking through our camera at the Nashville area, and you can see that half of the camera still has ice on it. Temperature is only in the middle 20s right now. We picked up about an inch of snow earlier this morning in Nashville, and that cold air is still in place, so it still looks like a winter scene in the center part of the state in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, another weekend winter storm is expected, including around the Nashville area area. We have the cold air in place and that's one ingredient of course you need for a winter storm. But here comes the area of low pressure that will be the lift that's needed and then it will be pulling in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So as that moisture overrides the cold air that's already in place, we are setting the stage again for a winter storm developing across parts of the south. Just like winter storm Octavia, it kind of moved across the southern latitudes and this one uh, could very well do the same for the most part. So this is what we're looking at from Sunday into Monday. The area of low pressure will be off the coast there. But starting Friday, we'll focus our attention back across the southern plains, parts of the Tennessee Valley. And look at the color code here. Now the blue indicating snow, the pink, that's where we could be talking about sleet and freezing rain being indicated by the purple right through the heart of Arkansas, including the Little Rock area and the green. That's where we have all rain, but it could very well be a chilly rain down across parts of eastern Texas and Louisiana. Saturday, notice how the overall color field just increases here. A larger area of blue and look at the area of pink here, including the upstate areas of North and South Carolina. Sunday, it's all green as we kind of punch in some of the warmer air. Even rain may be as far north as the Cape Cod area and Boston will be looking at you for some freezing rain on top of the some 90 inches of snow that you've seen so far this winter season. So big changes in the Northeast, in particular on Sunday. Mark?
A lot of cold air before that storm gets there, though, Viv. I mean, hey, look, it's Skeletor, and you're going to have to be a He-Man to deal with this kind of cold air over the next couple of days. Cover up your face, cover up your, your, uh, your you know, you need a boots, you need the parka, you need anything. It's cold enough to freeze over big waterways. You'll be shivering your way through some of the coldest air of the season and some of the coldest air that we've seen in years is on the way. Relentless cold across the country, widespread records on the way potentially. Look at this, Thursday through Saturday, all these dots on the map, that is over 100 potential record lows that are coming up into play here over the next couple of days. A very impressive cold air outbreak, rivaling the, the big cold air outbreak of 1899. At that case, uh, we had cold air get all the way down towards New Orleans where they hit seven degrees and Quantico outside DC hit 30 below. Now, our cold front will be all the way through central Florida and into the east coast as we go through Thursday morning. Look at some of these temperatures that we're going to be dealing with. 8 below in Chicago, 11 below in Cincinnati. You get towards Charlotte, it'll be near 8 to start off your day on Thursday. Even Pensacola near 25. Now, we are talking potential records. Charlotte forecasting a tie of 1958's low of 8. Now, we also have Friday morning. Look at this. The keys are in play. That's how cold it'll be. We can zoom in on some of these temperatures for you as well. Four below in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. You look at New York City, you'll be near four Friday morning. DC, you might be near one, and that would be a record shattering the record of eight that's in play for Friday morning. Vic. Ooh, some cold stuff. Well, as we go to break, we turn our attention to snow, snow, and more snow. Is this St. Louis? Is this Chicago? Is this Nashville? Yes, believe it or not, this is Nashville, Tennessee. We'll talk more about the snow and cold air over parts of the South when we return. Oh. You again? Gorilla Glue. Of course. Water activated. Original Gorilla Glue expands into the materials to form an incredibly strong bond for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. So you think all auto glass companies are the same? Well, they're not. When your windshield needs to be replaced, nobody makes it as worry-free as SafeLight. First, SafeLight emails a photo of the technician, so you know who to expect and how soon. Right on time. SafeLight's one-of-a-kind True Seal technology places a new glass in perfect position for a strong, reliable bond you can trust. Wow. That looks great. You're all set. Thank you so much. Schedule now to get the SafeLight advantage. SafeLight repair, SafeLight replace. rates for great rides. Geico Motorcycle. See how much you could save. Sir, we're going to need you on the runway later. Don't let a severe cold hold you back. Get Theraflu with the power of three medicines to take on your worst pain and fever, cough, and nasal congestion. It breaks you free from your toughest cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu. Serious power. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, most homes have air leaks and drafts that waste so much energy, it's like leaving a window open in your home all year long. Don't let another year go by. Call Champion Windows at 844-4CHAMPION. And right now, when you buy two rooms of windows, you get the third room free. Plus, Champion now offers no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. So call 844-4CHAMPION today. Because every home needs a champion. It was hard to believe. Before you can cash that thousand pound paycheck on the end of the line, you've got to get your hands on the wheel. Tuna! Wicked Tuna, new episodes, Sundays at 9, on the National Geographic Channel. Make your day special with McDonald's new mozzarella sticks. Hot, crispy, baked mozzarella sticks and warm marinara for dipping. Treat yourself to a great snack or as a new side to your favorite sandwich at only three for one dollar. Say cheese, McDonald's. I'm loving it. Why do people invest? They invest for what's next. That could be a college dream, a new priority, an active retirement. Whatever next is, it takes smart investments managed by experts who actively spot risks and opportunities. 
Franklin Templeton has been doing that for over 65 years, helping millions of investors achieve what's next. Franklin Templeton Investments. Gain from our perspective. There's no obligation, so call toll-free at 1-800-200-6120. This March, one man's trash. This is perfect. Is another man's wood-powered Jeep gasifier. <laughs> Brainstormers, premiering Sunday, March 22nd, only on the Weather Channel. A wind chill advisory is in effect. Currently in our area, 63 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, part today will make. You're actually going to start things off Thursday night into Friday with freezing rain and a big warm up on the way. But that freezing rain zone moves here into the Appalachians, uh, the Carolinas in towards Virginia, maybe a mixed bag of precip there. And then the snow zone stretches from Pittsburgh to Columbus, Indianapolis to Kansas City. That I-70 corridor, watch out as we could see some snow. Now by Sunday, our low goes off the coast, and, and but not as far off the coast as some of the previous storms. What that means is that the I-95 corridor is going to be in that transition zone. Snow to ice to rain for Boston. Look at that, a high near 36. I think we'll take it, although adding that rain on top of the snow on your roof could actually add a lot of weight. That's something we're watching out for. Uh, heavy rain across the southeast and our next little impulse. Denver. We could have quite the burst of snow by the end of the weekend. Lots of cities at play here, though, when it comes to this big change to our uh, forecast. Look at Little Rock from the upper 30s on Friday with icy conditions to thunderstorms in low 60s by Saturday. That is a big change. We're also looking at Raleigh of rain snow mix on Saturday and then near 60 with rain on Sunday. Fifth. Well, as you just saw, thunder could rumble this weekend from the next storm to roar across the country. But since 2007, the first response team of America has helped more than 70 communities hit hard by severe weather recover from a devastating loss. This year, a new member will join the team, putting her unique skill set and life experience to the test. And Aridis Rodriguez has her story. Johns Hopkins, one of the nation's top hospitals, is also on the cutting edge of research into Parkinson's disease, a progressive disorder of the nervous system marked by tremors and loss of movement. We're hoping to eventually develop an implantation device that would go under the scalp that would deliver an electrical current to help Parkinson's patients control their symptoms. Nia Chow has been a research assistant here since 2014. Her work is deeply personal. My mom first started showing symptoms of Parkinson's uh, when she was about 35 years old from a very early age. I would go with her to appointments and to specialists. For me, it's, it's very important to help those who suffer like she does. But this year, Niyal won't only be helping Parkinson's patients as she splits her time between the controlled environment of the research lab and the chaotic aftermath of severe weather. As the first and only woman to graduate through their intense training program, Niyal is now part of the first response team of America, led by Tatagolia. It doesn't matter whether a team member is a male or a female. What matters is, can you run these trucks? Can you run this equipment? Can you work long hours? And do you really care about people who are in great need? As she began the training, we realized she definitely could handle the work. I think training with the first response team has given me new insight. I'm capable of 
hard physical labor, as well as challenging intellectual research. This Christmas, Neon put her training to work, deploying to help storm victims in Columbia, Mississippi, after the town was hit by an EF3 tornado. Some people were shocked and didn't know how to react to me trying to help them. After they saw me running the compact track loader, the chainsaws, and they really saw how much training, observation, and detail goes into the work. They started to really respect what I was doing for them. And in the rubble of Columbia, Niall found harmony between her two very different lives. Whether it's in a clinical setting or in a disaster setting, if I can reach out to others in a manner that they need, in a manner that will help them, those are the things that bring meaning to my life. What a story, and it takes a special person to risk your life to save someone else's, too. Yeah, exactly, but that's exactly what happened yesterday in New Jersey. We'll tell you more about this other story. Responding by storm, powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. I got red dirt stains on my boots and jeans. Callous fingers from my guitar strings. 